your beauty is like the moon because it can be seen even in the dark. Sorry, Espanol. Your beauty is like the Why moon. Why is she laughing? <laughs> ah! She understood what you said. Sorry, Espanol. Nah, she understood what you said. That be English. <laughs> she wasn't feeling me. I ain't gonna lie, that, that young lady has too much testosterone. Um, well, I heard three and I saw two. I heard three and I saw two. Them things was quick as hell. What's the most your boyfriend has spent on you in one night? Well, the night that he gave me my ring, he, this is like... 3000 and then the dinner at Gecko was like a thousand, two thousand. So, like four grand, four point five. And how long have you been to? All right, maybe I'm broke. Uh, what the hell is Gecko? And how the hell is the dinner coming up to a thousand, two thousand dollars? What are they serving you? Are you able to have a to go plate? You better have a to go plate because what I realize is people that have money go spend that. On, uh, in these restaurants, and these plates be about five hundred dollars, and they give you a piece of chicken. They probably give you about this much chicken and this much rice. It's nothing but space and opportunity on that fucking plate, and they have the audacity to to charge you five hundred dollars for the presentation. Suck my. Suck my. I ain't doing that. I'm spending all that money. I better have enough food to last me about two weeks. Together? Basically two years. And why do you think he spent that much on you? He's always said that the way he has of expressing love for me would be with numbers because they're infinite. And then he wants to just show me that he actually loves me. And it sounds super superficial, but I don't expect gifts that are expensive or anything. He just does it because he wants to. So if he's dropping that much money on you... 4,000 bucks one night, promise ring and dinner. How do you invest in him? Well, I have spent a good amount on him too. I don't, I try to like equal it, you know, but honestly, I think loyalty is the best thing. So as long as he's loyal to me and I'm loyal to him, I don't care for the money or the gifts or anything. She wifey material. She is wifey material. It's good to give gifts when they're not expected from you. I feel as though if I give you a gift and you're grateful, and that's not your main focal point for being with me. That's cool. But if you're in a relationship where the person just always expect you to give them things, expect you to spend money on them, you have to think, what's the relationship going to be like if you happen to fall on hard times? If you happen to lose your job or if you happen to have a bad year in your business and you're not able to spoil your girl, what would happen in a relationship? Her standpoint from it, she said she tried to match the energy. But she's not really expecting it. She don't really care about the gifts and stuff like that. But be wary if you're dating somebody who is pretty much only with you for what you can provide financially. Be careful. Be wary of that. A lot of these dudes y'all see out here red pilling it. High value men that can afford this, that, and the third. And they, you are, you, you ain't nothing but, a, you an ATM. What they don't tell you is a lot of these dudes that have all this money and, and could buy these girls this and buy them that. Those relationships don't last. Now, they could afford it, and they can go buy the next bitch, but I'm I'm sorry. I can't do that. I can't I can't work and have my hard-earned money and be paying for pussy. I, I, I don't like it. I can't do it. I can't be with somebody that's only with me for my money. It just doesn't feel right to me. I like to know when, I, when I'm busting your ass, it's because you really want me to bust your ass, and you ain't letting me bust your ass because you hoping to get a check afterwards. How long did Kyle ass? Kai? Yeah. <laughs> you gay. Bro. Bro. You gay. Hey, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. He's he's saying Kai is saying the right thing, but yo. Asking another hold on, let me let me get right. Asking a female 
how long another man lasts, the size of another man's member, that's Batiman activities. If you come out your face and ask a girl how, how long another man lasts, you walking across the street. You jaywalking. What? Thanks. How long did Kai last? <laughs> Kai? Yeah. How long did he last? Uh, last. You is a grown ass mother man. Get him. You got fing Tiana Trump, the throat goat, the suck it and make you go out in 2.5 seconds. Get right him. In front of you, and you worried about how long. Did Kaiser not last? You are, but why is Bullet. I, why the f am I on your fucking mind when you have a bomb of that guy? Bullet, bullet, bullet. Yeah, bro, that's that's botching my activities, bro. You can't be doing no stuff like that. I'm sorry, that's botching my activities, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm beating her boyfriend ass. Me and your boyfriend was gonna have to have, we was gonna have to shoot the fair one. Because ain't no way in hell you finna be yelling at me, talking to me like that. Screaming over this man fucking chips. Screaming, spitting all over this man chips. Hell fucking no. I don't believe in hitting women, so. I wouldn't put my hands on her, but guess believe. Win or lose, me and your boyfriend was going to have to handle some business. Pause. Pause. I took it too far. Four ways to torture a narcissist. Number one, you need to go no contact. Be quiet. Don't be sending them long paragraphs. Don't be blowing their phone up, telling them what they did wrong, how they hurt you. I promise you, they do not care. Don't be on social media sharing subliminal posts, uh, crying. They thrive off of your misery. So you have to do the complete opposite. Even though you're hurting, you feel That's betrayed, facts. and you're in pain, That's you facts. have to be silent. That's facts. Number two, you need to set healthy boundaries. If you have kids, that means you need to go low contact, okay? So it's yes, no, or it's all about the kids. It's, mm -hmm. But he posting online and what you doing in your life mm -hmm. should never be brought up in a mm -hmm. discussion. You should not be looking at his social media. You need to make sure you block him and don't look. Because he's going to post his new supply to make you mad. Okay, mm -hmm. she don't know she dealing with a narcissist. It's mm -hmm. not your job to warn her. It's it's just gonna backfire in your face, and they're gonna think you're jealous and you bitter. Mm -hmm. So you be quiet and you don't look at what he doing online. That goes okay? for men and women. This is his moment right here to try to break you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But three, preach that gospel. You fix things about yourself that you don't like. If you're overweight, you want to lose weight. Okay, you want to prioritize beauty and fitness. You want to become the best version of yourself. Like you want to become unrecognizable. See, when you're four ways to. I agree with everything she said up until this point. Narcissists have the ability. They'll do all this shit, but they have the ability. To turn other people against you. You would end up looking like the bad guy. It's a lot of us out here that are in full-blown relationships with narcissistic people. And we can't see it. We're so in love with them. We refuse to believe that this person is taking advantage of us. Review your situation.